Folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's the day we start a brand new long haul save. We're going to do a journeyman. It's called the Stinger Man. I'm excited. Can't wait. First episode is going to be packed. How's it going? I hope this finds you well. So, a lot of you will have heard about a journeyman series and there's all sorts of different ways to do it i'm going to follow the traditional route as much as possible apart from my catchy new name the stinger man it's a journeyman series and this is the way we're going to work it so for starters you're going to start unemployed no club nothing no badges you've never done a coaching course in your life you've walked in off the street asking for a job you're a sunday league footballer you've had a kick about with your mates that's the highest level you've been to you obviously for these reasons above you're going to be starting right at the bottom the clubs that are going to offer you a job it's not going to be psg it's not going to be man city this could be a magical mystery tour now if we find success if we do well at a small club we're going to move clubs when you can when the opportunity arises to move up the pyramid so say i'm at a club for six months a job offer comes in from a club in a different country that's a higher division a higher reputation league off we go we're on our travels hopefully if you haven't done this type of series yourself this might inspire you to play along with me if it does let me know in the comments let's get on this journeyman ride together but without further ado let's get into episode one and find out where the hell we're going to be starting so we're going right from the start of this journey so here is my new man i've had to update him because i've shaved my head during lockdown there it is so gone has gone the slick hairdo damn it starting as the nuts and bolts we go to zero we haven't got any badges and past playing experience now for me it was sunder league footballer so let's keep that true eh so we're sunder league footballer we've got no coaching badges we've been dragged off the street to manage a football club now mental focus you can do a preset one like this youth development or motivator but for me i'm just going to do it myself so we're just going to drag it across there because i'm going to concentrate mostly on mentals i think that's the best way to do it where we're starting there's not a lot of point getting into the technical coaching side so if we can adjust our team via the mentalness slightly that's the way we're gonna to have to go okay job done in we go now the job centers came up and rule of thumb basically is to apply for every job under the sun because because we've literally came in off the street we've been sleeping in a tent we've got no badges nothing no one's really gonna give us a job we don't our cv doesn't exactly hit the spot so we're gonna apply for everything if we get lucky we might get a job by christmas but sometimes it can go as far as into the the next following year so see all these jobs here there's a wide range of jobs there from the Uruguay second division the Turkish second division Slovenia Romania Norway Israel I've no idea where we're going to end up we're going to apply for all of them let's see so here we are in the job center you can see all the jobs down the side there absolutely shed loads we're not going to apply for them one at a time that'd be sheer madness although that job there at Villarreal is quite appealing but that's probably a few years off yet so we'll go down to the bottom corner under my far head let me just move it up there we go see that just there apply all so i'm going to apply all apply all so all these clubs are going to get my beautiful cv now one step closer to a job now when we go to the inbox it's all it's all kicked off it's all gone nuts so gymnasia job application received montana received abe in denmark received chesterfield national league received derby job application received derby county leaks link davidson with derby roll now that is not going to happen is it in the championship you kind of defeat the objective starting in the championship really wouldn't it so you can see all these job offers not offers interviews applications we wait for an interview or a step closer to finding that first job there's some random ones gone in as well look at this one ghana under 20s managerial role <laughs> i've applied for that that'll be interesting my knowledge of the african under 20 scene will be stretched there now going through them there's a hell of a lot of international roles that have came up Kosovo under 21s northern ireland under 19s georgia what the hell's that one 
this is the, the beauty of this journeyman style, I think, because you're just going to get random names thrown at you. Look at this one. Triglav board. The Triglav. Let's have a look. That's Triglav, and they are in the Slovenian second division, so maybe that's an option. And here we go. The devastating disappointment of unsuccessful job applications have started to rain in. We've got Gymnasia, unsuccessful. Montana, unsuccessful. Abe, didn't expect to get that one, unsuccessful. Chesterfield, un unsuccessful, that's a worry. Fortuna Citad, and here we go, Central Espanol, offer job interview. Central Espanol, I think some of the boys may have been over to Uruguay. So it's a Uruguay second professional division. So these boys have offered us an interview. I instantly, instantly love the stadium. Look at that, trees everywhere. That is a thing of beauty. Now we're on to the promises part and they are quite ambitious. They are quite ambitious. The end of the first season, they're expecting us to reach the promotion playoffs, minimum. Okay, positive meeting with the uh, the board there, the Uruguayan second division, Central Espanol. But the job offers are starting to rain in now. We've got a few coming in, so bear with me while I get through these. We might have a bit of a choice here. Next interview is Karabukspor in the Turkish second division. Next up, Hapoel Afula in the Israeli second division. Cool. Vestry of the Icelandic first division now, which is a couple of notches down, I think. Okay, you cry over of the Romanian second league. They want me now. I've just done five job interviews in the space of about one game day. It's like being the day after I left school, this. So we're getting close to August now and still no job offer. Dot press, I've been offered a job in the Turkish second division. But you know what? I'm going to be cheeky. This not, might not be official journeyman rules, but I'm going to delay my decision for one week. This might backfire because there's loads of jobs getting taken up here by people. All these jobs that I thought I might get, they're getting taken. Hey up, I haven't even interviewed for this one. I've been offered the Cameroon under 20s manager job. <laughs> what? Right, so I'll turn that down because I'm not feeling international management, but <laughs> look at all these job offers here. So Cameroon have offered me the job, turned that down. Ghana under 20, I'm going to decline that. Ivory Coast under 20, Morocco, Nigeria, Senegal, Congo, obviously these lot are well, well aware of my massive knowledge of under 20s football. So yeah, look, I'm flattered, but I'm not going international management quite yet, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decline these, but how random. I just rejected nine job offers in a single swoop, but the way it's going, it looks like we're going to get a job pretty fast. Oh, I've been blanked on one of my job interviews. Second one turned down, and I was eyeing this one up, you know, the Romanian second division, but they've gone for this crusty veteran instead. Raging. I wanted that Israel job as well. Happy old Afula have blanked me. Okay, we've had a think, and we're going to take this job at Karabukspo, and I want to show you why. So we'll click on them there. There they are, Karabukspo. Year founded 1969, so there's a bit of history there. Average wage is £181, so you can see the type of club they are. And they're in this division. So, this is the Turkish 2 League Red Group. Now, the division above is not the division above, it's an equal division, I think. It is the Turkish League White Group. So I'm guessing that there'll be some sort of playoff between the two to then go up to the league above. Now I like a challenge, so I've just clicked on the media prediction, and the media prediction is a stone cold bottom, bottom of the division. So these guys are obviously in need of some serious, serious surgery. So then I thought, let's have a look in real life. Let's see how they're doing now. We're in where are we at? We're in February now, so a bit of the season will have played out. Let's see if they're really that bad. So this season, the Karabuk Spore Boys are. Bottom, as football manager predicted, after 23 games, they have won one, drawn two, and lost 20. Now, they've only got two points. That's because it appears we're starting the season on minus points due to financial irregularities. 
either they've been bribing or they've just failed financial fair play over in Turkey. This is going to be a hell of a challenge and I'm going to do it. I'm looking forward to it. And more context, the season before this, they finished bottom with about six points. They're a bit of a disaster. Look at the goals against the goals four column. Goals for nine. Nine goals in 23 games against 65. So they're basically conceding three a game and, con and scoring in one every two and a half games. This, if you're going to start a journeyman serve, you might as well start here, right? There we have it, up in lights. It's official. Let's get to it. Right, they've shown me all the commitment in the world by giving me an 11 month contract. And expectations are just to avoid relegation. We can handle that, right? Okay, first impressions are my squad is tiny and we are in the shit. This is apparently my star man, Burke. Burke Kavankarin. He is a winger, it looks like. Uh, he's got decent pace, decent acceleration, but the level we're looking at, we're looking at the national north-south, it looks like. So, you know, this is what this type of save is all about. We're starting with a basic block of clay, but the only problem is we've got no money, no wage structure. We're in the you-know-what, so this is going to be a right challenge. And the vision for the club for the next five seasons is to just stay in the league. So we talked about the fact that we are starting with a minus deficit for financial mismanagement. Super. What else can we learn from this league? Season preview. There we go. The boys down the bottom. 400 to 1 shots. It's definitely not worth a quid. Here's the interesting part of the rules. Now when you go to leagues like this where you're not familiar with, it's important you go to this because they're going to have some little hidden rules that may make or break you. For example, I've just seen down here that squad registration maximum of zero foreign players. So I can't get anyone in that's not Turkish. Fair play for making Turkish football the focus, but man, that's going to be tough. Structure-wise, it looks like one goes up automatically. Then you've got second, third, fourth, and fifth going to a third-place playoff. And bottom three get relegated. Once you get relegated, there's no coming back because this is the lowest that goes in this game. Our goal is simple, really. We need to stay in this bloody league. So back to the squad. Tactics are going to be hard work here because we are so limited. So we've got... 15 days until our first friendly they're going to try and get some trials in i'm not even sure what my wage budget is but looking at it i'm going to have to try a basic formation maybe a 442 variation very tempted to try some sort of diamond with a flat four at the back might go down that route but we're gonna to have to proper graph to get some results here you can see the type of team we are by the recommendations from our assistant manager look at him he's got his thumbs up on wing play he's got his thumbs up on fluid counter attack and direct counter attack basically saying that's the way to go. But remember, when you start at this level, your assistant manager doesn't really know much. We've called him from the street, he's called him from the bus stop. So you're best to back yourself and not rely on your assistant manager on clubs this size. Right, so we've had a look at the budgets and we've got no money, no, no surprise there. We've got a wage budget available of 3,800 pounds a week. So that's what's available. Believe it or not, that's not that bad because the average wage of our players is about 400 pounds a week. So we can probably get a few players in. It's just depending on what standard they are and if we can get them into a formation that's somehow going to keep us up. Right, so formation wise, I I'm honestly I haven't thought about it yet, but I'm thinking some sort of variation of a diamond. I'm thinking about that because it's going to be solid in the middle and I think having two up front is going to be vital. So we're either going to do that, a diamond, or we may bring these boys out wide do some sort of 442 variation depending on the quality of wide players I can get in at the minute we don't have any so it's going to be one of these I haven't done a formation that doesn't have wide players in it yet on FM21 so this might be an interesting route to take it all depends on the players really so I need to work out what type of standard my players are if you look at the star player which was the Burke I mean it's not great is it he's got a couple in double digits his best things of his pace and acceleration so it looks to me that i need to focus on physicals really to get the better of our opposition there is a trick you can do when you're in a league that you're not sure of to see what sort of standing you're at it's over here it's under competition reputation tab now what that says is basically what sort of standard your league is at i was rated 92nd in the world just above the van rama national league which is interesting so 
We've got knowledge of the National League from the Earthquake save. We know what sort of players worked, what sort of standard to look for. So that's where we're going to look at. We're going to look at the sort of standard for a Van Arama National League player. We know they're not going to be the best in terms of technicals, but physicals and a few mentals might get us over the edge. Every time I come to this page, I see that big whopping minus three there. So here we go. The journeyman has officially started. I'm actually really excited about it. It's totally different. We're going to be going some random leagues. We've started and probably the, as hard as we can get, really. We're in a deficit. We've got no money. The team is rubbish, but it's cool. It's a cool new way to start. Very interested if any of you lot are going to do the same kind of save. Honestly, it looks cool. It's going to be totally different. It's not usual playing in the Champions League, PSG, blah, blah, blah. One day we'll get there. But by the time we get there, who knows what club we're going to be at. This is our first one. Let me know if you lot are going to jump on the journeyman save as well. Next episode, we are going to focus on the tactics we're going to go with. We had a little, little look, didn't we? But I'm not sure yet. We'll get some players in. I'll go away now. I'll spend a bit of time in pre-season. Just try and get any players I can. All Turkish, remember. Putting them into some sort of tactic formation. We'll go through that in the next one. And we'll probably start the season off and see where we go.